Francesca Farrago is pregnant. After months of documenting her fertility journey, the Too Hot to Handle star announces on Instagram that she's expecting a baby with her fiance, Jesse Sullivan. The little one will join Jesse's 15-year-old child, Arlo, whom he welcomed during a previous relationship. In a post on March 31st, the reality star writes, we wanted to take this special day to celebrate this amazing milestone with all of you. We brought you with us through the loss, so we couldn't wait to bring you along for the win. I am still pretty newly pregnant and there's so much more to come, but we are excited to be growing our family with Arlo as the coolest older sibling. Jesse also shares the news with his followers on TikTok, posting a video looking back on the couple's IVF journey. He writes in the caption, we're pregnant. It's been such a struggle to get here, but we felt like Transgender Day of Visibility was the perfect day to let you all in on our celebration. I'm so proud of Francesca Farrago for fighting her way to get here, and I fall more in love with her every day. Thank you for following our journey, and here's to more trans joy. The pregnancy reveal comes almost a year after Francesca and Jesse got engaged, with the couple sharing they wanted to begin the road to expanding their family right away. E! News spoke to the pair at the 2024 People's Choice Awards, where they opened up about their excitement for an addition to their family and wanting to have two babies in their arms at their wedding. You've been so beautifully open with your fans about your IVF journey, and apparently you said that you, you're postponing your wedding till after the baby arrives. Are you still planning a really big wedding? Yeah, we want a huge wedding, but I think it would be so cute if we had a little baby in our arms or two babies in our arms at the wedding, so yeah. hopefully we can have a baby first and then do the big wedding after. What's so beautiful for me about watching you talk about your story and tell your story is how relatable you are and how human you are and how so many people have misconceptions about trans folks and pregnancy and et cetera. What do you want to say to people out there who might have some misconceptions about the LGBTQ plus community in general and how to dispel some of that? I think that the, one of the biggest misconceptions is that we, ha we can't do what they can do, but we can do everything everyone else can do. We can have a family. We just do it with a little more fun, you know? A little more pizzazz. <laughs> a lot of pizzazz. It's so beautiful. The love piece, too. You also talk about, like, how so many of us think that we can't ever find love, that it's not possible. And I love your message that, like, love is possible for trans folks. What do you want, what do you want to say about love? I've, I've often said that loving a trans person is a revolutionary act. Do you feel you're revolutionary right now? I feel blessed. Like, I have the most perfect person. And I just got so lucky. And I feel like people are judgmental for no reason. Like, I think trans guys are the best. <laughs> and personally, I, like, I just couldn't picture my life any different. So I'm just lucky. That's so beautiful. Thank you for sharing that and have the best time tonight.